Hello, MD World. Here we are, Bill Wilmore, 10 days out from the Toronto Pro. Um, today we're going to do back, and um, energy's a little low, but uh, we're going to go through here and kill it anyway. And um, real excited about next weekend. Um, really looking to bring in my ultimate best. I'm going to start off with some lap pull downs here. I really like starting off with these a lot of times, or pull ups. First, I want to talk about a little bit about um, how my last three months have been preparing for this competition. Um, actually, the first month was actually a little difficult because I was traveling a lot, and um, it was nice. Got a chance to see the world. Got to see uh, meet a lot of people. Um, I was in Australia. I went to Peru and Chile for two weeks, and uh, then came back for the FIBO, which was amazing. It was actually my first time out there. And um, that was all possible by my sponsor, Ultimate Nutrition. I definitely want to give them a big shout out and, uh, and a big thank you. And I'm um, looking forward to actually meeting a lot of fans all over the world with them. And uh, just really growing with the company. Well, one of the things that's been dif different is, um, you know, I, I traveled a lot previous time, but not necessarily while I was actually getting ready for a show. Um, it's, of course, it's more difficult finding food and, and of course, a way to make it happen. At the end of the day, nobody cares if you were traveling or what you were doing while you're missing meals. They care what you look like when you're on stage. <coughs> the main thing on me that I'm really trying to do is make sure I get a real good contraction. Almost like try to get the feeling that I'm getting the on. I was actually posing. I'd like to talk a little bit about... Um, some of the amazing people that I met there. Um, over in Peru and Chile, the fans were really, really appreciative of all the information that you give them because they're really hungry for information. And it's a lot different. The fans are a lot different overseas because they don't get a chance to see us guys as often as they do in the States. And they're just real appreciative, and um, it's a real honor to be able to meet them and uh, have the opportunity to go to these amazing places. I really like the fishing here. Another thing, guys, that I've been doing is, uh, but actually, I always feel like, uh, that, like, my back double bicep and even my leg spread needs, like, more separation and more density. More density. Um, when I look at some of the top guys that have the, the best back double bicep shots and stuff like that, I really need to work on having that really deep separation. And I noticed that you training my back twice a week has really, has really helped. Like, I'm not trying to necessarily go extremely heavy. Just trying to make sure I get good deep contraction. But um, it's still important to make sure, even at this point, that you're challenging yourself. Um, you don't want to end up like you know, going real, real light. Okay, it's close, and or try to do a bunch of reps or something like that. You're just going to go away. You're just uh, your muscles aren't going to have that pop and flare to them. Even with my carbs being low. 
you're still going to try to push some decent weight. But when you're doing it um, to the front, from Olympia Gym. Got the gun, still work, still hitting it hard. <laughs> How old are you, buddy? Still trying at 65, How many hanging years, in there. How many years have you been at it? 43 years. 43 years. How long has this gym been here? 35. Yeah, well, I've been here for 15 years as the owner. He always take care of me here, treat me with respect, let me do great videos and stuff like this here. I want them to know I really appreciate them and uh, look forward to continuing success together. And also, I'm very proud to have you in our facility. You make our facility. Thank you make me. it what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Just got done training back. Um, I feel like it was a good workout. Um, got to do... And uh, that'll be it for the day.